thing here. What time is that? <laughs> Hey everyone, Keith here from Geek Time TV, and a quick follow-up to a story that we covered on this channel about a calendar year ago. Uh, last year at DC Fandom, uh, Batman Cape Crusader was announced, and it was uh, Bruce Timm back in the driver's seat. Bruce Timm, of course, worked on the animated series, Batman the Animated Series, which is probably uh, one of the best animated series of all time um if you do love it and you don't own it i suggest you go over to uh blu-ray.com where you can uh, click through to amazon or other merchants and pick that up on blu-ray and own it uh because the way things are dropping on hbo max and i don't mean dropping in a good way i mean being cut uh by david zaslav who's come in with his sickle and is just uh, he's he's taken a hatchet and a chainsaw and any other thing he can find to uh, literally start trimming the fat off of everything. Um, basically, uh, David Zaslav is exactly who he said he was going to be. He's exactly who uh, I was, in a way, hoping he would be. He is clearly about the bottom line. He has examined everything thoroughly over the course of the last year during this acquisition of Warner Brothers by Discovery Networks. And he said he was going to come in and just get rid of anything that wasn't making money for him. And it doesn't matter if it's a sacred flagship property like Batman or not. Uh, we already saw him cancel a couple major motion pictures, uh, most notably the $90 million Batgirl movie, which will be shelved uh, indefinitely, if not forever. And the Scoob sequel, which was, uh, I think, a $40 million budget movie. So uh, those are huge tax write-offs. He'd rather take the tax write-off on that than the ultimate hundreds of million dollars of loss at the box office. And I, really quickly, uh, because a lot of people have commented on other videos uh, saying, what's the big deal? It costs $90 million. Put it out and let the audience decide yeah, it costs $90 million to make it, but then you have to market it, you've got to distribute it, uh, you've got to then do subsequent releases on home video and the marketing that goes with that, The you know, so uh, you've got to host it on your streaming channel and whatnot, and that ends up equaling uh, an investment that triples basically your, your shooting budget, so if you shot for $90 million, you're looking at upwards of $300 million of, of investment, which means to turn a profit, you've got to make 400 plus. Uh, clearly, Zaslav knows these numbers and crunched those numbers, and uh, the tax write-off and or subsequent hit on investment uh, would be a cheaper way out. So that's why those things happen, and that's why we are on this side and not on that side. Um, it's really fascinating to watch what he's doing at Warner Brothers and HBO and, and whatnot and CNN. <laughs> Brian Stelter and more to come. Uh, but, you know, um, I think we're going to see other studios kind of copy this model, except for Disney. Disney seems to be doubling down in the opposite direction. Uh, the, the hubris at Disney is we're just going to keep pumping out crap. Anybody see She-Hulk? Wow, was that bad. No reason to cover it because it's been covered to death. Wow, was that bad. So let's get into the real story. But before we do, uh, please uh, like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. It only helps us grow the channel. Okay, so Batman Cape Crusader animated series from Bruce Timm, J.J. Abrams, and Matt Reeves not moving forward to HBO Max will be shopped elsewhere. This comes from Variety last night at uh, about 8.25 Eastern. 25 Pacific. So um, what this means is basically the network put the show into turnaround. And um, I've experienced this myself. Quick story, a couple of years ago, uh, I was developing a, uh, a television show for NBC. And uh, they loved it. It was starring the Hanson brothers, who are friends of mine from the movie Slapshot. Uh, we... Wrote up a proposal, as you can see here, a quick little pitch deck. 
Uh, I got it to the VP of programming. He loved it. They set up a pitch meeting, very much like Seinfeld. Uh, you know, we went in and we had to pitch the show and act out some scenarios. They loved it. Uh, but when it came time for the network to cut the check, <laughs> they decided that, well, those guys are probably uh, not hip to modern culture. Uh, they probably won't have an audience, a uh, younger audience that can identify with them. So they put it in what's called turnaround. And turnaround means that you can take that now and shop it anywhere else, um, which we did. And uh, without getting into the gory details, um, it didn't work out. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with the other networks. We had five other networks interested. Um, it was something else, but I'm not going to get into that. So anyway, that man, Cape Crusader animated series from Bruce Tim, J.J. Abrams, Matt Reeves, not moving forward at HBO Max, put into turnaround. So um, basically, this looks like David Zaslov, again, uh, weighed the options of, will this make a profit for me? And if you watch DC Fandom last year, DC Fandom featured this, and, um, and I missed it because I, I didn't bother watching DC Fandom because the year before it was very cringe, and I heard it was double cringe last year. Uh, but I did see that they were promising a lot of uh, buzzwords, current sensibilities, modern-day politics, all that kind of stuff. The D, E, and I, those important three letters that Hollywood deems as important. And uh, David Zaslov came in and said, you know, no. I'm not backing a uh, an animated series that'll cost us some money if you're going to push the same old, same old. Because what's happened, if you hadn't noticed in the last five years or so, is that all of our escapist entertainment has now become part of the mainstream news. We cannot sit down and just be entertained and watch a superhero beat up some bad guys. We have to be clobbered over the head with identity politics, gender issues... Uh, you've got to have the right wing, left wing narrative, the, the evils, you know, the evil of the right being fought by the good of the left and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes we just don't care about that because we get enough of it all day long on the radio and on our news feeds and everything else. So now, um, I think what you're seeing with David Zaslov is he just wants to go back to good old fashioned entertainment. I'd say 80s style. And you look at the 80s movies, television shows, they were plenty diverse. They didn't clobber you over the head with it. Heck, all of the major entertainers, the top entertainers in every field, in every genre, were people of color. In the music industry, in the TV industry, in the film industry. Nobody seems to remember that. And that was 40 years ago. Yeah, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the 80s as we speak. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, just this whole idea that, that everything was whitewashed up until recently is, is a straw man built by these people who want to continue to ram this garbage down your throat. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be put into turnaround. We'll see what happens with it. I bet it ends up on some low-budget network or some streaming service elsewhere. Probably I could see Apple picking this up. Um, who knows? Uh, so anyway, uh, also one last note, the other series is on the chopping block, series is, is that even a word, are uh, Merry Little Batman, I guess that might have been a Christmas show, I don't, I don't know, The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie, Bye Bye Bunny, a Looney Tunes musical, Did I Do That to the Holidays, a Steve Urkel story, and The Amazing World of Gumball the Movie. So, um, yeah, David Zaslov continues to shut down projects left and right. Uh, last week, he took down 200 episodes of Sesame Street, classic Sesame Street. So, uh, yeah, let's keep an eye on this going forward. So, anyway, again, uh, if you loved Bruce Timm's original Batman the Animated Series from the 90s, I suggest you hop on over and get yourself a physical copy of it to keep on your shelf so when the internet crashes or when HBO Max decides to dump a handful of episodes for whatever reason, you've got it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like what I said, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you didn't, uh, that's fine too. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Also, please subscribe to Geek Time TV. It really helps us grow the channel. And make sure you hit that bell icon in order to receive notifications every time we drop new content here. You can also check us out on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at GeekTimeNet. Thanks again for watching. We will see you soon. Hey kids, what time is that?